everyone, it's me Nita and welcome to my channel. In today's video, this is like my first official day of starting my prep for my very first small business launch. Now, if you are new here, uh, I do own a successful Etsy shop and I get most of my sales through Etsy. However, this year I want to make it a point to try and increase my Shopify sales and not invest too much more of my time and energy into Etsy. I want to primarily focus on my Shopify account and just growing my Shopify and getting more sales through that platform. I'm gonna be prepping and cutting a ton of bell bottoms. I don't know if I'll be able to sew them in this video today because I still have Etsy orders that I have to work on, but I do want to spend some time tonight just cutting as many bell bottoms as I can. Um, I also need to carve out some time in the next few days to cut up some bummies some skirts and some bows and a few other items that are my first launch. So let's just dive in. I'm gonna show you the fabric that I'm gonna be using for my first launch. Now I have a ton of outfits planned. I have a bunch of accessories planned to go with this specific print. And I even been working with a few artists on coming, coming up with some custom t-shirt designs for an adult apparel as well to go along with this line. So if parents are shopping on my website and they're trying to purchase something for their kid, hopefully they'll notice some of my cute adult stuff and also purchase that as well so they can match their little one. So I've been doing a lot of planning recently, but now I actually have to take some of that planning and start working on, on some of the items that I'll be launching. So um, let's go ahead and head over to my fabric room and I'll show you the fabric that I'm gonna be using. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this mermaid print. Um, like I said before, I'm gonna be making um, bell bottoms, bummies, maybe possibly skirts as well if I can prep enough. Um, but I will be just primarily focusing on the bell bottoms and the bummies with this print. Um, I also need to cut out strips of fabric too of this print to make matching head wraps and bows to go along with these bell bottoms and bummies. I do plan also making scrunchies as well so I have like a whole theme that I'll be launching and then uh, once I get my bows all made I'm going to be organizing them in here. I'm not quite sure on how I'm going to organize my bell bottoms in bummies like I'm not sure if I should hang them on a rack or if I should put them in like little containers like this so I have all my embroidery blanks organized in these little shelves so I'm not sure if I should do the same thing for the bell bottoms and bummies I'm not sure let me know down in the comments how you guys would organize all of these bell bottoms and bummies that I'm about to make because I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna organize them all but I'm thinking maybe I could just purchase more of these and put those along this wall and just have them organized over here. I'm not sure yet. So don't mind the sliding here. This room has the worst lighting out of like the whole house. But I have a lot of work ahead of me, but I'm hoping that each day I can focus on just like cutting out one specific item and then spending one day just completely sewing up those items. Now, like I said earlier, like I said earlier, I still have Etsy orders that I have to work on. I have like seven orders that need to go out. So I need to squeeze that in tonight as well on top of all the cutting. So I guess I shouldn't spend too much time chatting with you guys and I should just get to work. I'm not going to cut my fabric in my fabric room. I am going to go out to my kitchen, to my kitchen island and cut over there because I've been trying to organize um, my fabric in my fabric room. So... I have this big pile of fabric that I need folded. My niece has been helping me roll fabric, putting it on bolts. She even organized this bottom shelf for me too of all my fabrics. So ah, thank goodness for her help the last couple weeks because I don't know if I could have gotten anything done without her help. So the room is starting to come together. I really just want to get all my fabric organized so I kind of can see what I have and what I can eliminate because I just have so, 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 so much fabric and I kind of want to downsize on the amount of prints I offer and all of that stuff. So I do have a ton of cute prints. I purchased this cute football fabric that I ran out of time and wasn't able to launch. At least I'll have that for next year. I do have a baseball print that I'll be launching in like the next few weeks, but... We're just focusing on the mermaid print. I'm also going to be spending time prepping sprinkle bell bottoms and stuff like that because this is another big seller on my Etsy shop. So I would like to have these as prepped as well. But for this specific launch, it's basically my mermaid launch. So, so everything that I'll be launching 
will be mermaid themed. I'm gonna kind of sit down in here just because this is it's quiet in here. But um, like I was talking about earlier, um, I have adult stuff that I'm gonna be offering as well. So I'm gonna be offering some cute mermaid themed um, t-shirts and crew necks for adults for embroidery and for um, printed as well. Um, and then I also have another launch separate from my clothing launch that I'll be launching too as well. I will be going into more detail um, regarding that in the next few weeks. Um, I'm still getting everything together for that. But me and Eric have been busting our butts planning this, uh, this launch out because we really want to make it a successful launch. Now we've never done something like this before. Um, we've only sold stuff on Etsy really so I'm not really sure how this is gonna go. Like I'm not gonna expect like a huge turnout because most of my following isn't like customers. It's for followers who make stuff like I do. So I'm not sure how my launch is going to go. I did start, did start a second Instagram because um, my first Nita and Thread Instagram I created, um, I'm pretty sure I messed up the algorithm for that Instagram and I also can't run ads on that Instagram as well. So if I'm trying to promote my products, I'm not able to run ads on that Instagram. So I went and created a second Instagram um, that I'm able to run ads and because it's a new Instagram, hopefully I can get into like the mom life and like girl mom algorithm on Instagram rather than like the small business side of Instagram. I want to get pot potential customers. So I did create a second Instagram. Um, so far I have like 48 followers. I've only done like one reel. But my original Instagram is also growing rapidly too. So we'll see if I even need to have this second Instagram. Hopefully just like my very first Nita and Thread Instagram, it will be successful with the the amount of followers that I have or if starting a new Instagram and getting new followers um, and different followers will help me have a more successful launch. So I am trying to do as much as I can um, with content because I feel like content is what's really going to help me get these sales. So I'm literally going to be filming every little thing that I do for this launch. I filmed yesterday my niece rolling the fabric because she rolled like three, four bolts of just this mermaid print for me last night. So I filmed her doing that. Um, that short and Instagram reel actually did really, really good. So I'm assuming you guys are liking that content. So I'm hoping that that'll help with the algorithm and help share it to more people so I can potentially get more sales. So hopefully it goes well. But tonight I am going to be filming some shorts and reels too of me cutting the fabric um, and showing you guys like how I'm going to organize the cut fabric. Um, so hopefully that reel will do good on Instagram. And um, I do plan on going live too on Instagram of me sewing or making the bows or just me making some type of product for this launch to kind of help get my followers excited for this launch and just promote it as much as I can. So these next few weeks is just like crunch time. I do have like a date that I want to give myself, but I don't want to stress out too much if I don't get to that date. So I'm thinking I want to do my launch on March 1st. That gives me like two and a half, three weeks to prep everything and promote as much as I can. I'm hoping these artists that I am working with right now to come up with custom t-shirt designs and custom embroidery designs, I'm hoping they will have my stuff done in the next week or so, so that gives me time to make everything and promote it and run ads too on Instagram and try and hopefully get sales on that stuff. So I have a lot to do. I have like a notebook full of like all my steps and everything. I still need to order like thank you cards and just really step up, step up my packaging as well. So I just, ha I have a lot to do, but I really, really, really want to give it like my 100% and see if I can actually accomplish, a, ex accomplish having a successful launch. Now, my first launch, I don't really anticipate getting like hundreds of sales or anything like that. Like if I get like 20 cells on my first launch, I'll be happy. Or just even 10 cells on my first launch, I would be happy. So um, 
I'm not expecting too much, but I do want to give it like my all and see if me putting in as much effort and as much time of my time into having a successful launch, if that'll help me. Because made to order stuff is getting more challenging for me to do. So it'd just be really nice to have everything made and ready once I launch a specific item that stuff's already made. So all I have to do is just have my niece package everything up for me and have Eric, my husband, drop it off at the post office. So I'm hoping that this is going to make my life easier, help me be able to expand my business more. I'm just really excited and really nervous too. Um, I just have so many ideas coming for this launch and I'm just really excited to show you guys too on everything. So this launch is just going to be like, I guess, my mermaid launch. So I'm going to have different themes and stuff like that to kind of pair with a specific fabric print that I'll be like focusing on. So I have like two, three other prints that I'm going to be focusing on too, but I'm thinking I'm going to try and aim to do a launch once a month or maybe bi-weekly, maybe every two weeks I could have like a new launch. I don't know if I'm biting off more than I can chew, but definitely I want to try and do one launch a month and just have everything made and ready to go and then all I have to do is just package the orders up and that's it. So that's my game plan. I am going to be documenting all of it and showing you guys everything on how I'm doing it. So maybe you guys can get ideas on how to have your own launch and maybe your own successful launch if my tips or my strategies work. So I'm going to go ahead and just start cutting now. I'm going to take all my bell bottom patterns and maybe like a bolt out to the kitchen and just start cutting. So let's get to cutting. Okay, so I'm getting ready to start cutting my fabric. Before I like, got started cutting, I went and labeled all of my clear little folders that I'm going to be putting all my cut pieces in. So I have them labeled with the size. So I am going to be doing three of each size um, all the way up to 2T tonight. Um, I would do more but I don't have enough of these little plastic sleeves. So I'm just going to do three of each size up to 2T, and then once I get those sewn, um, I'll cut more and do sizes 3T to 5T, I'm thinking. go. I don't plan on prepping sizes 6 and above because honestly, I don't really sell that many of size 6 and up. I mostly sell probably the toddler sizes and baby sizes. Now I will have fabric saved away for those bigger sizes, but I'll only offer a really small limited amount of the bigger sizes and mostly just offer the baby and the toddler sizes just because that's what I sell the most of. Um, but I will have like fabric saved for those bigger sizes if people do want to purchase um, sizes six and up. I believe I'm gonna offer up to size 12 Possibly 14. I think my pattern goes up to size 14. So I might offer that I might offer it up to that size um, I even gotten requests in the past to do adult bell bottoms So maybe down the road that could be something that I could offer in my shop um, So moms and daughters could have like matching sets of bell bottoms. I think that'd be so cute um, So possibly that'll be something else that I add down in the future But I'm gonna grab my basket and head over to the kitchen so I can start cutting um, And prepping all these I don't plan on sewing any of them up tonight I for sure will not have time to do that on top of the orders that I have to do. Luckily, the orders that I have to do, um, I have like a beanie order and just a few quick stitch out embroidery designs that I have to do. So those won't take very long to work on, luckily. I have one um, Valentine's Day birthday outfit that I need to work on. So I don't have too much to work on for orders, but... Um, I for sure I know for a fact I won't have time to sew these up so this vlog might be a short one but I am gonna pick up the camera and show you guys more of like the whole process but today we're just focusing on the bell bottoms tomorrow we'll finish up the bell bottoms sew them up and then and then we'll start on the bummies
Okay guys, so it has been a few days since I have picked up the, the camera. Um, it's I've been actually pretty busy with just trying to prep for this launch as much as I can. Um, a few things that I've done off camera is I have gone shopping for some new fabric prints to include for this launch. Um, not for bell bottoms, but mostly just for scrunchies because I want to be able to offer something for moms as well so they can buy something to match their little one. Um, and then I also worked on designing thank you cards and like little postcards. So I have already sent those off. They're in the mail and should arrive pretty soon. So once those arrive, I will show you guys what the thank you cards look like. I'm actually really excited because I've never ever included like made thank you cards before. Um, I'm trying to really establish branding for my brand because I haven't done that in the past. Like I've only sold on Etsy really and I haven't really developed any like of my branding. So that's something that I've been working on this past few weeks. So I have those coming and then my husband and I have been going back and forth with a bunch of different artists on coming up with some custom t-shirt and embroidery designs as well for this launch. And that's been a lot of work. Honestly, my husband's been doing most of it. I basically have been just coming up with sketch designs and having him send those off to the artists and we're trying to see which of the artists can really make my image or my vision like what I want exactly. So we've been having to go back and forth uh, with artists because some of them are not really creating the stuff that I'm like envisioning so we, we've been working with a bunch of them which costs quite a bit of money trying to find the right artists for the type of artwork that I want. Um, that's one downfall when it comes to having artists work with work with you is having them kind of see what you're seeing and kind of coming up with the same vision as you so it is a lot of going back and forth. So we've been doing that. I'm hoping that we will have a few t-shirt designs to be able to launch with this launch. We have like two other projects that we're working on as well with this launch. So we just have so many designs that we're working on. So it's been a lot of work with just coming up with designs, original designs as well. And just coming up with new stuff that we can hopefully do with this launch and then we have a couple other designs for future launches as well that we're working on. So we're already thinking about our second launch that we're doing and trying to come up with designs for that. Uh, so we've been multitasking for this launch and all future launches. Um, I did also receive my clip order from Acres of Love. These are the clips that I use for my bows. So I have, I think these are the two inch, these are the two inch ones that I mostly use for pigtails. Um, I did purchase some three inch ones for my bigger bows. And then I also got, I think these are the one and a half inch as well. I like to use these sometimes too with my pigtail bows as like a backup. So I try and purchase as many backups as I can because I am going to be batching out a ton of bows as well. Uh, I'm not going to be doing that today, but I'll probably work on that tomorrow. Today, I'm just focusing on bell bottoms. So, But I wanted to show you guys some other clips that I got that I will be launching for future launch launches. I don't think I'll have time to make these little snap clip ones. And these are so, like, these totally remind me of my childhood on when I was a kid and I use these little snap clips. So I am going to be embellishing these and decorating these. Um, and I will have a tutorial on how to do that. Um, Cause I've been researching a bunch of different methods 
So I don't know which method I'm going to try. I want to do something that's obviously the easiest and the fastest because I want to be able to make a bunch of these and have them ready to go for future launches. Um, and maybe I could have like a, I could launch these at a later date to kind of go with my mermaid theme. So this is a smaller clip. And then here's another one of the bigger clips. So I got a bunch of different styles. Uh, the nice thing about these clips is they are CSPC compliant. Um, and the nice thing about it too is before I used, I had to like email her and ask her for the like certificates. Now I've noticed she has include included a little scanner code that you can just scan it and you can get the necessary documentation um, for your small business to be able to make bows and bo use bow clips like this. So, yeah, definitely go check them out. I will have them linked down below for you guys. Um, these, This is the only company that I use for my bow clips, so highly recommend. Um, so, basically my plan for the rest of the day is my niece is coming today to help me work on some Etsy orders. Um, so she's going to be helping me with that. After she's done helping me with the Etsy orders, I do have a ton of inventory that I need her to put away for me. Um, and then I also need to sublimate my tags onto my bell bottoms. Um, I haven't made or I haven't sewn the bell bottoms yet. I did cut most of them um, up to size 3T. I still need to cut 4T and 5T. And then before I sew the pants, I want to sublimate uh, my tags with the batch numbers already on the pants. Pants before they sew them, that'll probably be the easiest because I don't want to have to sew on all of the tags for these bell bottoms. I feel like it'd be a lot quicker if I just sublimate them because I can put, I can sublimate a bunch at one time um, with my heat press. So I think that'll be, be a lot quicker. Um, so I actually still need to like design the hang tags as well. So I'm probably gonna work on designing the hang tags, editing some embroidery files as well, um, and start working on some embroidery items along with sublimating the tags. Um, if I don't finish sublimating the tags by the time my niece gets here, I'll also have her work on that as well. I've been trying to keep her as busy as possible. She's working about 10 to 15 hours a week. I'm hoping once summer hits though, I'll be able to have her her work 20 to 25 hours a week. Um, I would have her work more right now, but she is in school, so I don't want to like overwork her, but I'm hoping this summer I'll be able to have her around a lot more. Um, some of the tasks too that I've been having her work on um, is just like cutting um, the stable stabilizer off of t-shirts and crew necks. Um, and then having her package them up for me. That has been extremely helpful. She also has been putting away inventory for me. So she's been doing that for me and then organizing my fabric too in my fabric room. I am going to like get rid of a lot of the fabric that I have and either just donating it or selling it at like a garage, like have a garage sell and sell it. Because I just have so much and I kind of want to dial down like what prints I'm using and just focus on using just a few select prints and everything else that just is hanging around I'm just gonna get rid of so I am transitioning away from doing appliques I'm trying to do more of just designs that are strictly just embroidery just for time's sake so but yeah that's basically what I've been working on the last few days that's basically what my niece works on for me I'm gonna go sit at the computer for probably an hour or two and do some editing for these tags and for some embroidery designs and then I should have my shipment uh, blanks come in and then once those come in I could start embroidering so a lot of work to do today and I'm hoping the kids will cooperate um, so far they have been doing really good today they're actually finally quiet now and usually when they're quiet they're doing something suspicious so I better get off the camera go check what they're doing and get to work so I have each tag designed now so they're all gonna have the same batch number um, I just changed out the sizing and again, I'm only prepping sizes up to 5T and I have them saved right here I did 0 to 3 months all the way up to 5T. So now basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a whole nother sheet like an eight and a half by 11 and just print out um, Three of each size for these tags and then I'm going to sublimate them onto the bell bottoms So I think this is going to be the most easiest way for me. Um, I also need to sublimate um, 
tags as well for my head wraps. So if I have time to do that today, I'm gonna have prep those as well. Um, I'm not gonna make any head wraps or bows yet today. I'm just focusing on the bell bottoms, but since I am sitting down and editing, I thought I could maybe squeeze those in as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and make a whole spreadsheet or a whole sheet of all the sizes from zero to three months up to five T. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so I have all of the sizes on just one giant sheet. So basically I will just print out this one sheet and this should cover me for all the bell bottoms that I will be launching. Um, now that I look at it, I'm like, oh man, I don't have that many that I'm launching, but I don't think I'm gonna sell that many right at first. So I think that just printing out one sheet and having three of each size will be more than enough um, because I do plan on uploading these to Etsy as well in the future. So whatever doesn't sell, I'll either sell at a market or on Etsy. So, but I'm hoping my launch goes good and that these tags should be more than enough for this first launch. I'm gonna go ahead and print these out really quick and then we'll test sublimate one of the pant legs and we'll see how they turn out. If I like how they turn out, then I will do all of them. Whatever I don't finish, I'll have my niece finish for me today. I'm gonna test sublimate and see if um, if they sublimate well onto the pants because the pants are made with 100% 100, 100 polyester. So they should sublimate just fine. So let's go ahead and print these out and then let's test sublimate them. Okay, so for my sublimation settings, I like to do them with um, premium presentation paper matte and then the print quality is on high and because my tags are just going to be plain black ink I like to do the black grayscale because I've noticed with my sublimation printer if I use the color option and I'm printing just black like letters for tags they somehow come out green so I just like to use the black grayscale and then that kind of solves the problem for me and then I only need one copy but I do need to, I need to go to more options and then uh, for high speed, I wanna take that off and then I wanna mirror the image because I am sublimating these, so the image does need to be mirrored. Um, I'm gonna press okay and just print and um, my tags will start printing. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and test out just one pair and hopefully they turn out good. Okay, so I do believe that this is the backside piece, hopefully it is. Um, and I'm just going to Let's see how this turns out. I'll show you some butcher paper. All right, I don't know where my butcher paper is, so I'm just gonna use this old Teflon sheet. Hopefully that's okay. So I'm heat pressing the tags for one minute at 400 degrees. I really hope that this turns out because if so, this will be such a faster way on doing tags because sewing them takes forever to do. I'm kind of over it, so I think, I think doing this way will be a lot better, hopefully, if it turns out good. Okay, and oh my gosh. So I really love how the tags turned out. Um, it is kind of hard to see the made in the U.S. Uh, imported and domestic materials, so I might need to make the tags just a little bit bigger. But I think for these batch of bell bottoms, I think that this tag will work perfect. I am going to go ahead and go sew up this pair of pants just to see if I like the placement of the tag. And if I do, then I'll go ahead and sublimate the rest of these. And whatever I don't finish, I'll have my niece work on later today. So I just sewed up just this one pair of bell bottoms just because I wanted to see if I like the placement of the tag. And if I can open it, there's the tag. I love the placement, I think it's good. I could probably go closer, but honestly I think it's perfect where it's at, but how cute are these? I really love this print. This is just one basket and I still need, I still have one full basket that I need to do and then I still need to cut 4T and 5T, so. I have quite a bit of work ahead of me, but I'm gonna go ahead and sublimate the rest of these pant legs. So when I sew these up, it'll be a lot easier, but I really love how these turned out. I hope they sell well. So cute.
Okay guys, so I just finished adding the rest of the tags to all my bell bottoms. I still need to do 3T, 4T, and 5T. I'll wait to do those once I have the bell bottoms like actually cut. Um, I'm hoping to get those cut today. I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. Hopefully um, I'll be able to bust all these pants out tonight. Fingers are crossed. Um, I do have like five Etsy orders that need to go out tomorrow, so we'll see if I can fit all these pants in. If not, I'm just going to have to focus on Etsy orders, but hopefully I can get these done tonight. And then tomorrow I can focus on bummies, skirted bummies, and bows too. So I still have a lot to prep. A lot. And scrunchies too, so. And scrunchy keychains. So I have so much to do, but we're going to get it done. I've decided to do launch date on March first so that gives me just a little I think a little over a week two weeks to get everything done so like I said we're still waiting for our artists to get all the artwork back I do have one of my embroidery designs already done I just need to stitch it out and do a sample for that I do have one more embroidery idea that I want to do um, but I'm still designing it, so I'm not sure how I want that embroidery design to be. But I literally have, like, a little less, actually, than two weeks to get this stuff launched and ready. I'm hoping that these t-shirt designs um, will be done soon because I want, like, a week, at least a week to try and, like, promote them on Instagram. Um, I'm going to spend this whole week just promoting the heck out of my bell bottoms, um, the bummies, and the scrunchies as well. So I have a lot of promoting that I have to do. I've been trying to film as much content for TikToks and Reels and Shorts as much as I can. Um, and then my niece has also helped with some of the social media as well. So she's filming some of that stuff too and doing a little bit of editing as well. So we are busy over here. Um, so we have less than two weeks to get everything done. But if I don't get the t-shirt designs, Back for my artists, I do have some backup designs that I could purchase off Etsy um, as like another backup option. But I'm hoping that a lot of the t-shirt designs are my own original designs just so I can stand out and be a little different and more unique than everybody else. Just so I can stand out and that gives me like a little leg up um, for customers to want to purchase from me because they won't be able to find what I have anywhere else. So that's my goal for these these designs. So I'm hoping that these artists can get them done as soon as possible. Okay guys, so I finally got one of my designs back from our artist. So this is going to be one of the t-shirt designs that, will be, that we will be offering for adults. Possibly full of, for kids as well, but definitely for adults. But I'm really excited to show this to you guys and I can't wait to show you all the other designs that we will be having. And here's one more. This isn't like the final copy of it, but this is like our like final decision on the design. So this one says, have the courage to be disliked. And I just wanted something really simple, one color, easy to print out. Um, I really love the detail she did. She did an amazing job. Um, I really like how the skeleton turn turned out skeleton whatever is like really in so I thought that this was a good cute little design to have made up okay guys so it's been actually quite a few days I have my DTG on so do not mind the extra background noise I do apologize but the reason why that's on is because we actually got one of our t-shirt designs back from our artist so we decided to print it out film a short and a reel for Instagram. So let me show you guys how it came out. Okay, so here is the t-shirt design. Now this is um, an original design. It's gonna be exclusive just to Nida and Thread. We might sell this design, I'm not sure, but as of right now, it's just exclusive to Nita and Thread. And this, again, is gonna go along with the mermaid launch that I'm launching. There will be kids belt bottoms, kids bows, scrunchies adult t-shirts and crew necks that are all going to be somewhat mermaid themed and this is just one of the designs that we have I think we have like three to five designs we'll be launching too um, along with this mermaid launch so I will be showing more of the designs once we get them back but here is this one this one says in a world full of fish be a mermaid and then it's very colorful and vibrant 
and it just really pops on this t-shirt. I'm going to be offering this design on like a bunch of different colors. I really like this color so I wanted to print one for myself. And I just love how it came out. And I also got my Vista print order for my thank you cards. Um, so I'll show you guys how these turned out. I already opened them uh, because I was just too impatient and couldn't wait to see how they turned out. But I ordered, I believe, 100 or maybe 250. I can't remember honestly how many I ordered. Oh, it says 250 on it. So I ordered 250 of these because I also plan on including these in my packaging for my Etsy shop so I can start driving some of that traffic to my website. I'm hoping with this launch and all my future launches um, I'll be able to get most of my traffic to my website like that's my goal this year is just to really try and increase traffic to my website and get more sales on my website rather than on Etsy. Now I love Etsy and I've done very well on Etsy and I'm so grateful for Etsy but I think it's time now for my business to get a little bit more branded and expand more and really grow on Shopify or my own website. I got 250 of these so I can include in not only packaging for um, my launch on my website but also for my packaging for Nita and Thread. So here is the front of the card. It has my logo, my website, and all my socials, and then just, um, it says for you, thank you for your purchase. We hope you love our products as much as we did creating them, or creating it. I really love how these turned out. Um, and then on the back, I plan on having some type of quote um, with something positive on it, and it's going to, and it's going to match like whatever theme I have. Uh, for that certain launch. So I think for each launch I will have like a specific card with a quote on it um, that will kind of match my launch. I plan on having one each month as of right now so I'm hoping that I can keep up with that. Me and Eric have been working so hard on coming up with designs and planning out future launches because we have like a lot of the designs and stuff set in stone now we're trying to get ahead of the game and start thinking about like planning out our next launch because we want to do a lot more for our next launch and I can't wait to tell you guys what it is and the theme and everything but I'm really excited and I'm just really happy that these turned out really good. I'm obsessed and um, I can't wait to send these out to all my future customers. But my battery is about to die, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I never got around to sewing the bell bottoms, but I do plan on doing that in another video. Um, I do plan on doing that tomorrow, so I will make sure and film that for you guys. Um, the bell bottoms are ready to go and they just need to be sewn up. I still have a ton more other things that I plan on sewing, such as um, scrunchies and making bows and bummies and skirts. So I have a lot to do still, so definitely if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of these future launch videos. Make sure to comment down below um, any future video ideas or what you would see, like to see in um, any more of my launch videos. So just definitely let me know down in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!